Hey, I'm Travis Dunlap, and I'm making this video as an introduction. I had some friends on Facebook ask for some beginner guitar pointers. I'm a school teacher. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a guitar teacher, but I want to help anybody uh, that I can out whenever possible, especially if they're interested in music and the guitar and singing, um, which I am a uh, novice <laughs> at, but I sure have a good time. But um, in, in this intro, just uh, I kind of want to go over some basics uh, that I didn't go over earlier. But uh, so anyway, this is obviously it's a guitar. Uh, this is a um, acoustic um, flat top. Sometimes it's called. It's an acoustic electric in that you can plug an amplifier. Excuse me, you can plug an amplifier in right here with your cord, and you've got some volume controls right here. Um, you can start with uh, anything though. It doesn't have to be something you can hook up to an amp. You can do that later. But as an intro, um, six strings, and this is the body of the guitar. Uh, these are the strings, all right? But what, more importantly though, something that you should know is when you're counting the strings or you hear string numbers, the count on a six string guitar starts from the bottom. So it would start here with the thinnest string, and uh, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six from there. So if you're looking at um, different online diagrams and it says uh, the first string, you would know, or the fourth string, you would know where to start counting from. I'm gonna put some diagrams up with that and some pictures on my Facebook page to show you that so you can have some still shots to put in front of you as you put your fingers on the frets and uh, work on those strings. Um, again, this part of the guitar is the neck. These are the keys here, okay, six, which are used to tune, excuse me, the guitar. And um, this is called the nut up here. That's where everything ties in and Lots of different ways you can adjust the heights and the strings, which is called the action. This is the neck, and in the neck is where you have each individual fret, the space in between each of the bars right here. So fret one, fret two, fret three. Um, one thing that I wanted to mention is when you're looking at a diagram and it's telling you which string to put your fingers on, and your fingers, um, your index finger is going to be one on the circle uh, when it shows you what fret and what string to put it on. Um, two would be your middle finger, three ring finger, um, four if I'm not mistaken, pinky finger. And I'm gonna do a little more research. Uh, that's kind of how I usually go by it. Um, so then you will know when you look at these diagrams what, <laughs> what what fingers to put where, and it's important what fret, like that earlier, that's a terrible, that's not necessarily a note, those are the correct fingers on the correct strings, but when you slide them down to the correct frets, you get a G, all right? So uh, that's G, that's C, and that is D, all right? So a quick way to look at those on this video, which will be a little shorter, Oh, it's actually with G suspended. Here's regular G. Okay. All right, so D, let's see if I can get this up here, is going to look like, I have to put my fingers on it first. This. All right, and when you look at the diagram, hopefully that will make more sense, okay? C. Look at it is going to look something like this. Tilt that back a little bit. Okay. But when you see the diagrams and the pictures that you can look at still shots of, and you take a look at this video, hopefully it will make more sense. Uh, these are, this is for folks that are, you know, just picking up a guitar and just want to take a look at it and see if they're interested. Um, private lessons or, you know, lessons or hanging out with musicians is always the best way to learn 
uh, and I'll continue to work on better videos. But for my Facebook friends, I wanted to make sure that I did what I told you I would do, and I appreciate you um, hitting me up with uh, interest on the guitar and on music. And I hope that uh, your interest in research and learning will continue and you'll dive into it and find some great material on it. So have a good day and uh, God bless and start and keep playing and singing from here. And I promise you it will reach people and it will, it will really help you also. So have a good day.